guys, I'm Laura Vitale. Hi guys, I'm Laura Vitale. <laughs> You're so cute! Um, on this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, what are we going to make? Cookies. You're very shy right now. Why be shy? I'm just smiling. You're so cute. Um, today I'm going to make uh, my tahini chocolate chip cookies, which are probably my favorite chocolate chip cookies of all times. I know that my ultimate chocolate chip cookies are very good. Very good. But these were just a little bit more grown up. Having said that, you love these cookies, don't you? They basically have the same sort of flavor as a chocolate chip cookie, obviously, but they have a nutty undertone. <laughs> they have a nutty undertone. They are baked to perfection. A little bit of sea salt on top just makes everything shine and you're gonna love them. So. Let me run you through the list of ingredients. Um, you need some uh, unsalted butter that I've softened at room temperature. So if you want to take this out of the container, Mia, take this out of the wrapper and put it in the bowl. We're going to make this in a standing mixer. It's melted. It's melting over the bowl. Go ahead. She'll get there. Don't worry. I know these cookies became popular, I think, a couple years ago. Um, and I've seen them many places ever since. And I was like, you know what? I yeah. bet that if I just played around with my ultimate chocolate chip cookie dough recipe, then I could make them really delicious. And it didn't take much. They're very similar to that to that recipe, and they are so good. Then we're gonna add two kinds of sugar. Why are you melting the butter? <laughs> we're gonna put it in the machine. Um, and they're gonna just sort of combine. I'm gonna mix it. I'll okay. Mix. We're gonna head start mixing it. Um, and we're just gonna combine them mash, and we're gonna mash, 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 mash the butter. I get asked a lot what mash. I do to keep her busy all day, and this is one of those things. We have been book baking and cooking a lot over the last year. Um, and she really enjoys it. Mommy, remember the pizza video? I do remember the pizza video. And, and the, the apple pizza. And the apple video. Yes, I know. We've done a lot of cooking, and I tape her a lot because she loves it, and it's something for I me to look back on. Mommy, I love cooking with you. Oh, my heart. I love cooking with you. Let's try and putting it in the, ma in the machine. It's a little hard. I know, but that's why, this is why we have this machine. You know why? Mm -hmm. Because this machine has big, strong muscles on the inside, and it's going to mix and, it for us. I'm strong. You are so so strong look, and so look at my smart. Muscles. Strong, smart, and kind, I'm gonna, I'm right? Push this one. Right? Strong, smart, and kind. Mommy, I'm going to be very good today. Oh, you are very good, my love. I'm going to be good with it in the All right. I turn, it, I turn it on. Good. We're just going to let those cream together about a minute or so, and then we're going to add the egg and the tahini. I can't wanna crack the egg. I know. The tahini I'm using is this one, which I really, really like, and I tend to keep a couple of these on hand, uh, but really any good tahini will do. So I'm just gonna let that go. In the meantime, we're gonna let her crack the egg in the small bowl. Go ahead, crack it in here. Harder. Good job. Good job, babe. Where should I put it? Right here. Boop. <laughs> I want the chocolate chips. Well, I'm not going to give you the chocolate chips. Huh? I'm not going to give you any more chocolate chips. Mommy, are you watching? Sure. Let's go wash up. All right. We're going to add the egg. Go ahead. Throw it all in there. Along with a splash of vanilla. Ah. It's okay. Oh, here, 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 here. It's all right. It wasn't too much. I'm nope. gonna wipe it on my apron. That's good. That's fine. Because and then my dress is in the apron. Your dress is in the apron. And then we need about a half a cup of tahini. And tahini is nothing more. Hold on, my love. Hold on. Then yeah. a sesame seed paste. You need all of it. That is so good. Mmm. And nutty. Bigger, and I will try it it's out. got such good depth of flavor, and I love it on pretty much anything. I always let, have. Let me try. A lemon tahini let me, sauce in the let fridge. Let me try a little bit. You want to try a little bit? Yeah. Put your finger in. It's so good. Mm. Good, right? Delicious. Okay, and now I'm just gonna let these do their thing. <laughs> it's got a little bit of a slight bitter undertone, but that's good. It's fine. It'll be delicious. I, I'm thirsty. All right. <laughs> She's like, where's my water? But she's willing to try, and for that, I'm thankful. I'm gonna mix these until they're combined, and then we move on to the dry ingredients. 
Okay, at this point, we're gonna add dry ingredients, flour, baking soda, and salt. It feels good. Put it in, yeah, all of it in, all of it. And then the chocolate chips. I really like using chocolate chunks for this, but it's not the thing that I always have on hand. But semi-sweet chocolate Mommy, chips. Mommy, my trick. You're doing great. My trick. That's a great trick. But semi-sweet chocolate chips is something I always have on hand, and ah, it just works Mommy, really, really well. I actually wouldn't use milk chocolate chip here because they're a little bit too sweet Mommy, and you need yeah. to offset all of that gooey, sweet, sweet like nuttiness with some semi-sweet. Now we're just gonna get out of there. I want a little bite. You're supposed to have a cup of chocolate chips, give or take a quarter cup. Okay. You got flour in your chocolate chips. All right, now this does have to go in the fridge for a few hours before you bake them. We love these we so much. We put them in the... Why? We put the vanilla in. Why? We put everything in. Um, oh, when I, was I always have a batch. Oh, when I was going to get my water. Yes. I always have a batch of this cookie dough ready in the fridge at all times because that's how much we love it. Do we it. need oil? No, we don't need oil. Why? Uh, because we already added butter. Remember? It's oil. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and take my dough that I already have in the fridge. I'm going to take it out of the fridge, let it come to room temperature for like 10, 15 minutes. Preheat my oven at that time, at the same time. It needs to be preheated to 350. And then we will scoop and we will bake. And these are going to be baked scoop tomorrow morning. And scoop and 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 a soup. Yeah, scoop baby. And avocado. Avocado. Scoop and and avocado. It's from a show. Is it from Hey Gabby? Yeah. Mm. Um, and she sings that song. What's the other song that you like to sing from that show? Uh. Any day is a... Uh, uh. Come on! Spring. I don't remember. No, no, anyway. No, no, no. Mommy, the, the hamster kitty one. Oh, okay. I'm going to go pop this in the fridge covered, and then we'll get the other stuff out, I and then we start baking. <laughs> Cookie dough came out of the fridge about 10 minutes ago. Um, just so that it can soften a little bit, it makes it easy to scoop. Oven is preheated to 350. As per usual, sous chef left me. She's like, you know what? I did my job. I'm not washing dishes, but call me when the cookies are ready. <laughs> so that's fine. Um, I've got a baking sheet with some parchment paper. I like to use a large ice cream scoop for this. Um, it's the equivalent to three tablespoons. You can also use a regular size um, cookie scoop or whatever, but I mean, honestly, with these ones, I feel like go big or go home, but also not just because I'm greedy and I like a lot of cookie, but they just get a much better texture when they're a little bit bigger. You just get a gorgeous, like chewy, crumbly, incredible flavor and texture. It's kind of really hard to put into, in, into words, but having said that, I do make some smaller ones because otherwise sous chef would eat multiple large cookies and I cannot handle the sugar rush, okay? I just can't. So I'm just gonna make a few really big ones um, and then just because I want you to see them in all of their glory and then I will bake some smaller ones to keep on hand because, you know, they're cute, they're delicious, they're kind of like her and everybody loves them. So I'm gonna pop them into the oven. I like to bake my cookies on my lower third um, rack and I'll leave them in there. This size will take about 12 minutes. Smaller size, you take about nine to 10 minutes. So I'll show you what they look like when they're done. These babies were in the oven for exactly 12 minutes and they are perfect. I like the bottom to be, oh, look at that. They're like, they're still warm. So they're still very gooey, but I want the bottom to be lightly golden. I have a small, I have a batch in the oven that are smaller for sous chef. And when they come out, you want to hit them with just a little bit of sea salt. It makes the biggest difference. Salt in baked goods is the same thing that it does in savory things. It just kind of makes the flavor really come out, but these are still warm. So you have to give them a minute, but look at this. Look at that. I mean, they are not cakey. They are gooey. They are chewy. Mm. They are the best cookies you'll ever eat. Go to laurainthekitchen.com, get the recipe, make them. You'll agree with me. Let me know on IG how much you love these because you will. Hope you enjoy spending time with me and Susha, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.